your name. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is May, uh, May Disaster from Alta Footwear, and this is my co-manager, Gladwin Maranen. So Alta Footwear is um, our company. We are Group F. Alta means high in Spanish. It embodies the spirit of letting it ride or living in the edge. So we bring the state of Alta in our customer's mind, body, and spirit. The strategic vision of Alta Footwear is committed to providing high quality active footwear at an attractive price for our customers. Our aim is to empower everyone to live a health, healthy lifestyle, whatever the age, uh, gender, or level of health may be. Our vision is to provide value to our customers, shareholders, and employees through sustainability and continuous development. Uh, these are our competitive strategies from the beginning of uh, our management team. Uh, we offer slightly higher quality, six stars products, with an industry average prices. We believe that uh, offering good quality products at affordable, decent prices will gain us a huge market share. And uh, we focus on the following of, on the wholesale and internet, internet segments of some specific regions and um, we, we gradually increase production incentives and annual salaries to boost productivity and geographic focus on North America and some segments in Latin America and the Asia Pacific. So this is just an overview of our uh, objectives and the actual results, actual performance. Uh, Gladwin will go through these further. And um, here's my partner Gladwin to talk about the financial performance. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll discuss about the, the details uh, behind those figures. Yeah, so let's start with the revenues and um, profit or losses. So since the start of our um, company, since we took over from year 10, there is a significant increase of, uh, based on the figures that, that is presented on the board. We started from 239 million from year 10. Then we eventually um, increased in number of revenues in the year 15. So towards the year, you can see that there is a significant increase. Much more on the year 13, we got the highest um, revenue, which amounted to 284 million. The green um, graph represents the operating profit of our company. There is also a significant increase on those from year 10 until year 15. And the net profit also represents uh, also shows that there was a significant increase towards the years as we go on with our um, um, corporate strategies and as we implement our um, forward strategies for for the uh, company's um, production. <coughs> Annual net profit. Okay, from year ten, uh, we we try to manage to maintain the annual profit, but as you can see, there was a significant drop on year eleven. This might be attributed to uh, our invest uh, company's investment towards um, uh, the production. We we try to manage the dividends, so there was a significant decrease on year eleven. But we try to manage over the years from year twelve to year fifteen. We try to cope up with with those um, drops. So we try to uh, maintain to a higher uh, figures. So for the cost and profit of our shoes per pair from year eleven. To year 15 as this is just the summary so the cost per pair for year 11 is 26.99 which uh, we invested uh, much on the quality that's why towards the year we, we increase the cost per pair from 26 to 32 as the cost per pair increases we also uh, managed to increase the profit of the company okay earnings per share um, from year 10 to year 15 uh, we, we maintain to uh, reach the investor's expectation from 2.5. Uh, we try to manage uh, from, year, from year 10, 2.5, until year 15, we reach the 
um, year 13 and year 15, we've got the highest earning per share. For return on, on equity, also we try to um, uh, increase the, the equities as we go along with, with our company management. From year 10, we, we, we maintain the inf investor expectation, but we managed to reach the investor expectation from year 12 towards year 15. For the stock price trends as well, um, the investor expectation was on the $30 from year 10. There is a significant decrease in year 11, as what I mentioned before, because of too much investment that we did. Uh, we did not focus on so, uh, some areas uh, that needs to be improved. So that's why there's a significant decrease. But we try to cope with year 12 to year 15 and surpass the investor expectation. Credit rating, from year 10, we've got um, B+. Plus. Uh, we try to manage it and surpass the baseline or the um, investor expectation from B+. Plus. Now we have, we are on A+, plus for our credit rating. This could be attributed to um, our in, uh, SQ rating, that is six stars. We also improved on our corporate strategies and we are um, um, investing much on socially responsible operations. Image rating, from year 10 we tried to uh, maintain that from, from being on the uh, five star to six stars. But uh, there is a significant decrease on the image rating. This could be attributed to uh, because of uh, the company's lack on boosting the um, support from our um, advertisement. This could probably affect our image rating and as well as um, we, 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 failed on the, we failed on the investment of the dividends for our shareholders. So that's probably one of the reasons why we've got, we, had, we had a decreased um, image rating towards the years. So May will discuss the market share of the company. All right, as for the market share of Alta Footwear, how much of the pie are we actually getting? All right, so... Um, this is the results for the global market share of all our products throughout different segments and uh, dif different geographic locations. So we can see that year 12 was the height of um, our market share. And um, well, it had been decreasing, but uh, we are working on it. Um, just to have a look at our segments, um, we can see that our wholesale sales are, would be our top bread and butter. <laughs> Okay, and next is our internet sales. So we can see a gradual increase in the internet sales. Uh, competi a competitor got us on year 15, but we're still pretty much in, in a good place. I will show you later our ranking. And um, we can see that our private label sales dwindled to zero in some uh, geographic locations, basically because we thought that um, we would focus on uh, the segments that were earning us a lot of income, revenue. So these are the highlights of uh, our North America geographic segments. In year 11, we could see that we are from the third, and then we dropped lower on year 12, but we fought for our place, and we are second throughout year 15 in the internet segment. So as we said, we also focus on North America. So in the wholesale segment, we were constantly top. And then one of the competitors got us, and now we're only second, but we are working on <laughs> new strategies to bring us back to the top. And uh, private lab label wasn't really our focus at the moment, at this time, rather. So here is just an overview of um, the distribution of our uh, segments. So you can see the private label is the gray one, it's dropped significantly, and we had pretty good sales on the wholesale segment and the internet segment. All right. Uh, Latin America, we were constantly, we were slowly gaining a top spot in market share with regards to the internet segment. 
we didn't focus so much on the wholesale segment, and definitely not on the private label. And Europe, Africa, Europe, Africa. Look at our internet segment; it's doing pretty well. Um, we are constantly above the top three, top four companies, and um, we decide that in the future we will keep continue working on this particular segment in this market. We did a bit of experiment on <laughs> the private labels, but um, we feel that we wanted to focus our investments and energy on the internet segment. <clears throat> Asia Pacific, we were constantly on the top with regards to the internet segment, and we didn't focus on the wholesale segment, but I would like to tell you now that uh, the Asia Pacific, because we have the capacity there, we want to, our next few years, we will be focusing on wholesale segment in the Asia Pacific region. Um, our success in the internet uh, segment, I'll just go back to this. Our internet and wholesale segment, um, we invested in um, celebrity endorse endorsers. I think it did pretty well in the uh, desirability of our product. And we, our strengths, one of our strengths also would be a good relationship with our wholesalers, our retailers rather. So we offer really good wholesale price. And um, with regards to internet marketing, we also offer a pretty good uh, pricing. Um, our pricing in, the, in, in, in our internet segment, we don't go higher than one or 2% of the average price of all the competitors. So we were able to maintain a pretty good spot in the internet segment. For the wholesale segment, as I've mentioned, we, ma we maintain really good relationship with our uh, retailers. We offer them a very good uh, price, and uh, we maintain the two-week delivery, uh, two-week delivery time. Okay. So what do we plan to do in the next three years, year 16, 17 to 19? Okay, we want to continue fighting for the top spot in the internet segment in the North Americas and Asia Pacific and wholesale segment in the North Americas. Um, now, we want to start competing in the wholesale segment in the Asia Pacific because as you see earlier, we didn't really focus on that. But we saw the potential, so we're going to work on that in the next three to four years. Next, you will tap into the most neglected market, the private, private labels in North America and Asia Pacific as well. Um, we realized that uh, the private labels will have an increasing demand of 8% starting year 15 or 16 annually. So we thought not many companies are competing in that segment, so we want to take our spot somewhere there and see if we can go to the top. And we also will continue boosting our celebrity appeal. As for our operations and distribution, we will increase production capacity to 7 million because at the moment we have a capacity of 6 million. Uh, we will increase up to 7 million by the end of 2019 and we will reach an SQ rating of 7 stars by the end of year 19 as well. And we plan to offer up to 230 models from the current 200 models. Okay, so by year 19, please expect we will have 230 models, at least. And um, to be able to do all these, our lifeblood, our human resource, and our corporate social responsibility, we will continue looking after our employees and our investors. So first for our employees, we will increase annual salaries and incentives by 2% annually, so we can boost productivity and uh, decrease reject, reject rates and we will continue the diversity training to create synergy. So we believe that um, diversity creates multitudes of efforts among different types of people from different walks of life. And we will continue the ethics training, but not just among the managers. We will do that across all departments. I think we are at this stage that um, we were doing, I, mean, I believe we were doing pretty well, so we're at this stage that it's time to invest in this. And you will continue using green energy and packaging 
and we are considering switching to green materials. And well, that's it. Thank you so much. Excellent. Uh, good. Uh, very